Former U.S. Representative Gabrielle Giffords and her husband, retired astronaut Mark Kelly, campaigned for Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton in Iowa. One of their stops was at a canvassing kickoff event in Des Moines, where they talked about reducing gun violence. The couple have been gun control advocates since Gabrielle Giffords was seriously injured in a mass shooting five years ago at a political gathering in her district near Tucson, Arizona. This is about 15 minutes. Captain Mark Kelly and Congressman Gabby Giffords. Uh, straight from Ames for an event earlier today with Hillary. Uh, I honestly, uh, in terms of leaders on gun violence prevention, there's few people who have been so vocal and so committed and such fighters on this issue. Thank you so much for all the work you're doing. and for your support for Hillary. Um, you know, we need fighters like Gabby and Mark on this issue. Uh, there's so much work to do and there's so much at stake in this election. And, um, you know, I, I think we need fighters like them. We need fighters like all of you who are going to be uh, knocking on doors and making phone calls to make sure we elect a fighter to the White House on yes. gun violence prevention, Hillary Rodham Clinton. And, uh, you know, we can't do this without all of you. Uh, so thank you so much for the work you're going to be doing as well today uh, after we uh, finish up here. But uh, without further ado, I want to throw it over to uh, Captain Kelly thank you. to get us started. Thank you so much. Thank you, Noah. Thank Thanks, everybody. It's always uh, great to be here in awesome. Iowa. Good time of year. I'm glad there's not too much snow on the ground. <laughs> uh, hopefully it'll stay like that for Monday. Yes. You know, Monday is a pretty, pretty big and important night. Uh, you know, I wasn't uh, very big into politics. You know, I was just a guy from New Jersey, some bald guy from New Jersey who flew airplanes in the Navy. And then uh, a little while later, I had the opportunity to serve my country as an astronaut, fly into space four times. And that was uh, really exciting. And I've served in the military for 25 years under both Republicans and Democrats and I was always really honored to be able to serve my country. So I wasn't really a political person. And then I met Gabby, and she certainly was into <laughs> politics. <laughs> her whole career, that was her thing. And as all of you know, you know, Gabby's political career, you know, was cut short. But both of us have been, you know, quite honored to have a second opportunity at service, and that's in trying to make some positive steps in how we uh, deal with guns and gun violence in this country. And we've been working hard for some common sense reforms to our laws that will make our communities safer. Uh, we've got a pretty big problem. You know, we've got uh, 15 to 20 times the death rate from gun violence than any other industrialized country. And unfortunately, we have a certain segment of our political class that is more interested in supporting the gun lobby and powerful corporate interests than they are doing what's right to keep our families safer from gun violence. So it became very clear to us as we looked at the records of all of the candidates that are currently running for president that there is really just uh, one clear choice in who uh, we need and who Gabby and I know is the right person for this issue and so many other issues, and that's Hillary Clinton. You know, I think everybody's been watching uh, very closely some of the candidates, some of the rhetoric out there, some of the, some of the crazy statements, you know, you hear from them, um, and how they, how they deal with this issue and what they say. But I want to tell you a little secret. A lot of those uh, folks are really terrified of the gun lobby. Yeah. And they're going to do what's in the best interest of the gun lobby. And that really worries me. So we have an opportunity here uh, over the next few days to get 
Secretary Clinton on the right course. Now I think about this as a, uh, this whole thing, these few days as a space shuttle launch. You know, we spent a lot of time in getting a spacecraft ready for launch. It involves a entire army of people. You know, it takes months and months, even years of preparation to get to that point where you ignite the solid rocket boosters on that space shuttle and build an incredible amount of momentum to complete this mission. And I think of Iowa and all of you folks here working on that, this campaign as that rocket launch. So the Woo! rocket is on the pad. It's up to you to get this going in the right direction. Mach 25, <laughs> on to success <laughs> to make uh, Hillary our next president of the United States. Yeah. Yeah. We have a friend, former astronaut, Jim Lovell, commander of Apollo 13, that he once said, uh, when he heard President Kennedy say we're going to send people to the moon for the first time, he thought it was impossible <clears throat> that nobody would ever be going to the moon. Mm -hmm. And then he wound up going to the moon himself twice. He also is a guy who says there are three kinds of people. There are people who make things happen. There are people who watch things happen. And then there are the people who wonder what happens. <laughs> well, I think, uh, and Gabby, you know, we really believe that Hillary Clinton is the type of person that makes things happen. Yes. yes. And so is my wife, Gabby. She served in Congress for two and a half terms. She really made things happen, too. Uh, one of the things Gabby always reminds me when I watch her after, you know, five years trying to overcome this traumatic brain injury from a gunshot wound is uh, reminding me each and every day to deny the acceptance of failure. Failure does not exist. So I want to introduce all of you to my wife, Gabby Gifford. to you about Hillary Clinton. Hillary is tough. Hillary is courageous. She will fight to make our families safer. In the White House, she will send up to the gun lobby. That's why I'm voting for Clinton. Speaking is difficult for me, but come January, I want to say these two words. Madam President. Thank you. Let's work together, Hilder, our president. Thank you very much. Work hard, folks. Thank Thanks so much, Thank everybody. Uh, let's get out on doors. Let's make some Thank phone calls. So uh, uh, Thank Captain you Kelly much. and uh, Congresswoman Giffords will uh, stick around for a little while to mix and mingle. But thanks so much. Let's get to work.
fun to do. You know, the other thing I like about Secretary Clinton is she believes in science and technology and innovation, and that is so important to me. I have a very hard time with uh, anybody who is uh, promoting himself to lead this country that does not believe in fundamental science. And it is not in our country's best interest. Somebody who, you know, it's, uh, it's just, it's, it's one of my big issues. Thank you. Uh, 
How does it feel to be stuffing for a so Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Out of my first day. Do I look nervous? You just seem like fired up and no, no, it's fun. Way, you know? Yeah, no, it's fun. It's, uh, it's our first day doing this. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, That's exciting. Nervous. You'd be nervous? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's exciting. I had, I had a good time earlier today. Yeah? Are you, when do you guys leave? Uh, right after this. Oh. But then we'll be in oh, New Hampshire. Are you going to keep following her around? Beyond New Hampshire? If we will, um, we're going to work hard. Beyond New Hampshire? We'll see. One, one day, I don't know, one day at a time. You know. You're ready one to stay to the You're ready to hit the trail. Oh, yeah, yeah, we want to do whatever we can. Okay. Yeah. yeah I want to share with you. Hello. How are you? He wanted to take a selfie. <laughs> sure. <laughs> hey, how are you? you guys are brothers, huh? Yeah. I want to show her my brother. <laughs> you can smile, Ronan. I've always wondered, how do you think it. It changed who you were before you went to space and after. Like, uh, a little bit differently about the environment. Seeing the planet like that, like a little island with all the people on it, a you know, really thin atmosphere, kind of worry about it. So that's kind of changing. Yeah. 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 Not when you ask Once you leave, you can't go back. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, they don't yeah. hire people again. Mark, you got a gift behind this wall. Oh, wow. Can I get over there? Yeah. That is awesome. We've got to take a picture. Can we take a picture of you? Hey, yeah. Here. I appreciate you coming right, you in with your wife. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm one of the telephone. Oh, a little banker? Okay. Now, why don't you get in the middle? That's good. Yeah. You go over here. Okay. Right, yeah, I mean, Are you ready? I took three of them. I think I know. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm blessed. Thank you. How are you, sir? He's going to try to take a picture of us. Uh, uh, this was the I'm a member of the VFW. Yeah, I'm a life member. Gabby. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I met with the president here a couple weeks ago. Oh, good. And he stuck his hand out. Thanks, guys. Salute I never, I never shake it. Thank you for this way. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for working so hard. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for working hard. We're both from New Jersey. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. Where? Rutherford. And Hackensack. West Orange. Not too far. You're welcome. Everything to honor your commitment. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll use this one and then. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Thank you very much. Well. I, I mean, on mine. Oh. Oh. I just lost. Oh, okay, that works. Did you? Oh, here we go. I got you. Here we go. Thank you so much. Three down, one, two, three. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, sir. The log. Thank you.